let's see how to integrate this uh, function okay so there the question is integrate 1 over x squared plus 4 dx okay so whenever you have a form like this uh, it uh, uh, can be a trick substitution so let's look at a trick substitution can happen if it is 1 minus x squared or 1 plus x squared okay, but the 4 is a problem here I want to get rid of this 4 so what can I do to get rid of this 4 so I'm going to write the next step like this, this is integration of 1 over I'm going to divide both of the de denominator by 4 to get rid of this 4 and make it 1 now what have I done I have divided by so let me write dx here I'm dividing by uh, a quarter okay that means this uh, you're dividing by quarter uh, in the denominator that means you're multiplying by 4 okay I hope as calculus students you understand so to to counter this you have to put a 4 here I hope you can see so this this 4 basically goes up and this one quarter is sitting here to cancel that four that goes so basically i haven't done this i haven't done anything this and this are the same okay that's what i want to explain so this is one quarter of integration of one over uh, x to the x squared over four plus one dx now this is can be substituted by a trig form now you know that 1 plus 10 squared is, so let me write that, uh, a trick identity is 1 plus 10 squared x is equal to 6 squared x. So if I let x squared over 4 as 10 squared x, this denominator can be written as, uh, of course not x, I'll write in theta. So if I substitute, so let me substitute, so let uh, theta uh, or x squared over 4 is equal to 6 sorry 10 squared theta I want to make this denominator 1 plus 10 squared theta so I should have written here theta to remove the confusion 1 plus 10 squared uh, theta is equal to 6 squared theta okay so I have let x squared over 4 as 10 squared theta so this implies x squared is equal to 4 tan squared theta, which implies uh, square rooting both sides or finding the square root. So x is 2 tan theta. Okay, so this is, we'll be using this later. So let me box this away. So now differentiating both sides dx by d theta, or this, uh, differentiating with respect to theta is 2 6 squared theta uh, I have copied and pasted from a formula sheet this okay so this is differentiation differentiation of 10 is 6 squared theta okay let me minimize that okay so this implies dx is equal to 2 6 squared theta d theta Okay, so this is something that I need. I want to change everything in terms of theta. Okay, so the exp this will become now, this is equal to 1 quarter integration of 1 over tan squared theta plus 1 times dx can be written as 2 6 squared theta d theta. Okay, so this is equal to 1 quarter times integration of 1 1 plus 10 squared is nothing but 6 squared theta times 2 6, theta, 6 squared theta d theta so the 2 can be factored out so or you can take the 2 out so this is so this is nothing but 1 half so this is 1 half the 6 squared and the 6 squared can be cancelled so you are left with integration of nothing but theta or d theta 
so which is nothing but which is equal to half theta plus c okay now what is theta in terms of x okay so i hope you can see this right in different color this implies theta is 10 inverse of x over 2 i hope you can see that you're taking 10 inverse so or one step you can say 10 theta is x over 2 so theta is 10 inverse of x over 2 so final answer in terms of x so the question was integration of 1 over 1 over x squared plus 4 dx is half times 10 inverse of x over 2 plus c okay now this is fine but i want to check my answer so as i always do in all my videos i would uh, like you to do the differentiation of this to get this so if this integrates to this the differentiation of this should give you this so i would pause uh, or you can pause i would not pause and try to differentiate this to get to this okay so i'm going to i hope you have paused and uh, try to in differentiate this i want to differentiate d by dx of half times 10 inverse of x over 2 plus c okay so for that i'm going to let uh this as y okay so if i say uh I want to let this as y. I want to find d by dx of this. So I'm going to say let y is half times 10 inverse of x over 2. Okay. So what will happen now? So if y is uh, 10 inverse of x over 2, can I say 2y? Or let me write the other way around. So can I say 10 inverse of x over 2 is equal to 2y. 2y, yeah. Okay. So now this, the next step is very interesting. Therefore, I can say x over 2 is 10 2y. Okay. So this is actually the opposite. Okay. See, if uh, it's like this. Let me use a different color here. Yeah. See if 10 theta is equal to say 0. 0.5, theta is 10 inverse of 0. 0.5. In some books, they, uh, instead of saying 10 inverse, they say arc 10. 10 inverse and arc 10 are the same. Okay. So if from 10 theta you write 10 inverse of 0.5 so if you go backwards 0.5 is 10 theta the same way uh, 10 of 2y is equal to x over 2 okay so let me bring back my green color so i can say x is equal to 2 10 2y this is a very good question for uh, very uh, competitive exams especially for scholarship exams in mca so I want to differentiate this with respect to x. So I can say, okay, this is d by dx of x is equal to d by dx of 2 times 10 2y. So now you're asking, what's the rate of change of x for a very small change in x? So that is 1 is equal to 2 is a constant. Now you're differentiating with respect to x. So this is an implicit differentiation so you have to differentiate the inside that is 2 times the differentiation of 10 y is uh, 6 squared 2 y okay uh, the differentiation of 10 yeah is 6 squared so we have differentiated the inside first the differentiation of 2 y is 2 and then the whole thing which is 6 squared 2y okay times dy by dx because this is an implicit differentiation so this is 
f i can say 1 is equal to 4 times 6 squared 2y times dy by dx okay so this is nothing but therefore dy by dx is equal to 1 over 4 6 squared 2y okay now what is 6 squared 2y so this is nothing but uh, this is nothing but 1 over 4 times 1 plus 10 squared 2y okay now what is 10 squared 2y let us see uh, okay what is 10 uh, if 10 2y is uh, x over 2 can you understand this implies this way x squared over 4 is equal to 10 squared 2y. So in place of 10 squared 2y, you can put x squared over 4. So let me change color. So this is 1 over 4 times 1 plus x squared over 4. Okay, so this is nothing but 1 over 4 times 4 plus x squared over 4. And here the 4 is sitting here to cancel this. So this is nothing but 1 over x squared plus 4. Okay, so this differentiation. So we have done both. We have differentiated this and we got this back. So this is perfectly okay. Okay, and you should be proud about it. So we have seen a trick substitution to integrate. And we have also done the differentiation of a arc or inverse trick function. See you in the next